Hello. In this video, we will learn how to access environment variables in Rails applications. Now you might think it's so easy to access them using the env hash. So why do we need a different way? So a very common problem that happens when you're working on multiple Rails applications on the same machine during development is that your applications need access to the same environment variables. That is, their name is same, but the value is different. A common example is connection string. So my blog application needs the connection string. And uh, let's say I have a forum application that will need its own connection string with a different value. Now, if you're setting that environment variable in your bash RC or ZSH RC file, you can only provide one value, right? So it's hard to differentiate between the two values that different applications need. Same problem happens with a on a uh, continuous integration server. So you might have one CI uh, server that is handling different applications. So how can you uh, separate the environment variables for different applications? So that's the problem we are trying to solve here. Now, keep in mind, this won't happen in your production server because there you most likely have one application running. And so you can define your environment variables in your uh, on, on the server it's, uh, itself. But uh, how can we solve this problem on during development and testing? Now, one easy way or a hack to solve this problem is just prefix the environment variable with the application name. So instead of connection string, you might have blog connection string or something like that. And it will work, but still it would be nice to have these environment variables nicely scoped within the application and with a concise name. So is there a better way? So, and there is. So that's where we'll use this dot env gem for Rails. So what this does is it loads the environment variables from a file named .env into the same env hash during development. Okay, so let's get, uh, let's see an example. So we'll install this. So just copy this line and, and notice that we are using that only in development and test. Copy that and put that in your gem file. So I've added that in my development and test group. So I don't need this here. And uh, put this uh, after the, after you add this, run bundle install, and that will install that gem. And uh, before I use that, let's just. Uh, Try to run the, uh, try to set a environment variable with a value without using with the that gem. So I'll just set it here and I will launch my server. So the value of this value variable is mysql123. And in our code, we are accessing that like this. And in the view is we are displaying it, that variable. So if I go back to my application and reload the page. You can see that value is now pulled in here, the environment variable. Now let's try to refactor the code so that this environment variable is pulled from the .env file. So for that, first we'll do, what we'll do is uh, add a .env file in our project. In here, I'll simply copy the value that I used and uh, set it like this. Okay, now once that's done, let's restart our application because uh, this gem loads that file and puts the environment variables in the env hash when it loads the Rails environment. So let's restart the application. I'll just run bin Rails server. And if I reload, you can see it uses the new value. I mean, it uses the same value, but this time it's coming from the 
dot uh, env file. Let's try to change it to something else. And there you go. And you can define as many environment variables as you want in this .env file, and you will have access to them in your code as usual. So you no, notice that we didn't have to change anything in our code. You can still access them using env hash. Okay. One last thing is uh, you don't want to check this .env file in your version control. So you'll need to add this in your git ignore file like this. Okay. And that prevents it from getting checked into the source control. So you don't accidentally push it on GitHub. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's how you can access environment variables in your Rails applications using the .env gem and keep them nicely scoped within your Rails applications. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Look forward to your feedback. Thanks for watching. Bye now.